Today we're going to talk about rearranging equations. Now, first of all, let's remember the first half of the equations first. Did my voice practically fade away sitting down to play with time? Ignorant questions that reveal very ignorant. Right. So here we have six equations. What we want to be able to do is to rearrange these equations. Now, equations have two sides. They have a left-hand side and a right-hand side. So we've got density on the left-hand side, mass over volume on the right-hand side. Here we've got current on the left-hand side, charge flowing over time on the right-hand side. So equations have a left-hand side and a right-hand side. Okay, now, if we do something to one side of an equation, we have to do the same thing to the other side. That keeps it balanced. So let's take pressure equals force over area to begin with. Right, what we're going to do is multiply both sides by A. Okay, it's very simple. Pressure times area equals force over area times area. The two areas cancel, and we've done it. We've got force equals pressure times area. Okay. Now we want to get area by itself. So we divide both sides by pressure. So we get force over pressure equals pressure times area over pressure. The pressure cancel and we get area equals force over pressure. Now that's all there is to it. If you can do this, right, you can rearrange all of these equations. Let's choose resistance equals voltage over current. Multiply both sides by I. So we get resistance times I equals voltage over I times I. The I's cancel and we get V equals I R. Okay, now we want to get I by itself. Divide both sides by R. So we get V over R equals I R over R. The R's cancel and we get I equals V over R. Good. That's all there is to rearranging a simple multiplicative equation. Fantastic. 